You're looking in pretty good shape, I've got to say. Thank you. Why all the working out? Um, I hit 30 last year and almost two years ago now. And uh, the, shows, the shows that we do are so super physical. I knew I needed to um, have a crazy amount of strength to build my threshold for fatigue um, in touring. So I've just been really um, concentrating on being really fit so I can, you know, just for, to have some you know, major stamina. New album out? Yes, Night Work. A bit different. It's a little bit different, yeah. Happy it, with it? I'm, th I'm thrilled with it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. No colors, you've stopped wearing colors. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of black. My daily, I've been wearing a lot of sportswear in the, in the daytime. I'm obsessed with Y3, uh, which is Yoshi Yamamoto and Adidas, and pretty much like my entire wardrobe is at the moment nothing but Y3. But on stage, I've been wearing a lot of black. There's still a lot of flamboyance though, at least yeah, your personality. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, black, I think black, is, black can be very outrageous. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I, I, it's important for me and I think it's important for the band to um, not feel like we're repeating ourselves. Where does the flamboyance come from in you, Jake? I think I'm more just a showman. I never really think of myself as very flamboyant. You're I'm an exhibitionist. A, I'm an exhibitionist. I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't consider myself a very camp person, um, you know, in my regular daily existence. Uh, but, you know, I've always, I've always been a showman. I'm a ham, you know? I like to perform. And you're not into red carpets, though. Is I this hate true? red carpets. Why? I think red carpets are really embarrassing. I don't like stepping out on them and there's this assumption when you're there or when you're on a red carpet that people either know who you are or care who you are and there's this kind of, it kind of puts it on you as if you uh as if you expect people to know who you are or care who you are so i just don't i don't like them at all i find them one of the most stressful horrible things and i try to avoid them as as much as possible red carpets and fashion shows is it true that you used to dance in strip clubs? In yeah, and, and parties, and yeah, you know, I would, I would, uh, I, I would make, I was in college, I, I wanted to go to Europe on my own, I wanted to go backpacking, so I started dancing, you know, just for, for cash, and so I would, uh, you know, I would dance in these clubs and, you know, get tips all night and whatever, and I would take this, this pile of cash home every night home, which was a raw loft with no heat, um, and put all this cash in a shoebox and put it under my bed. And eventually I had enough money to, to come over to Europe on my own. And you have been known to take your top off dancing on stage with your- I just get hot. I mean, that's the main thing. I like to, you know, it's, it's, it's not only, I, I mean, I do, I, I don't mind taking my clothes off, but um, I'm, I'm a super physical performer, you know? And like for me to like really tear it up, you know, it's, I don't like, I don't like feeling like I've got like clothes on. There's been a big influence, would you say, on your music by the New York club scene? Yeah, or just, or just, or I wouldn't even necessarily say New York club scene, just, just clubs in general. I find a lot of inspiration in clubbing, especially the last couple of years. I've really rediscovered my love for DJs and techno music and um, all sorts of different kinds of dance music. Uh, I, I, I love clubbing and it's really important to me. Why do you think you've made it so big in the UK, but not so big in America? Well, it's kind of a, it's this thing that keeps getting said over and over and over again. Is it and true, do you think? I, I, we have, I mean, we, we just finished a tour of North America that was over the top and amazing. I mean, we just played the Palladium Los Angeles that was like, you know, it was, it was incredible. It was really almost overwhelming. Uh, when Nightwork came out, it was the number one indie album in America. It was also the number one pop record on iTunes that week. So it's like, you know, we, we definitely, you know, people, and especially right now, it feels like there's more kind of buzz and excitement about the band than there ever has been, which is a really, um, you know, it feels really good. You've worked with Kylie. Yes. Good friends with Elton John. So Elton Best John, friends. you have yeah. access to big names, don't you? Uh, uh, I, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm friends with, with, you know, lots of creative people and performers that are successful. I don't really think of them as big names. I think of them as more big personalities. Would you ever go solo? Mm, I wouldn't go solo, no. A, I hate my name, Jake Shears. I, I, it's, I, name. it's not a good name. It sounds like a porno star. Um, and I, I just don't, I'm not interested in 
being on my own. If I was going to do another project, it would be a collaboration with someone else, and it would be under under a, a another another title of a project. I, I would never want to be Jake Shears on my own. When you were growing up, you did a lot of dancing around the house, a bit I of did. singing. I did, yeah. I was. I'll never forget when I was in. Uh, Sixth grade is when uh, B-52's Cosmic Thing and D-Light's World Click came out in the same couple of months. And those two records were like, it, it was kind of that moment, I was probably 12 years old, where it was like, I was definitely a homo. When my parents would leave, I'd put on World Click and I would just twirl around the house. I would just go crazy. And, you know, to this day, those two albums are really, really important. Do you think it was written in the stars that you were going to be a big star quickly? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> God, that went fast. That was really fast. Yeah. You didn't quite answer that question. Well, what, in the what stars. was it? Was it that you were going to be a big star? Um, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I, I would never, I still don't consider myself a big, big star. I don't like, I just don't. We didn't it's talk not, about video games, really we I didn't am. talk about reading, we didn't talk about so many things because it all went so quickly. I know, it did go really fast. And I gave quick answers too. It's really good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, same here.